I'll tell you what, there is a few implements in our catalog that really kind of sh outshine everything else. Uh, this backhoe, hooking it up, taking it on and off is probably one of the simplest functions for one of the most complex tools that you can outfit your tractor with. So I'm gonna go through that stuff with you right now. Uh, we're gonna show you kind of hooking up the backhoe Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm gonna get ready to attach the backhoe to my tractor is um, I've got this crossbar that's gonna maintain the width of my bottom links um, for the three-point hitch. Obviously, I pulled the pins out so I can have freedom of movement there. Uh, we'll, we'll reattach those in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pin in. This side. And same thing on the other side. So that crossbar is gonna maintain distance. So it's gonna maintain the width for me um, on the tractor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these into about the fourth slot on the three point hitch down here. And that still gives it a little bit of freedom of movement, uh, but that's connected. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead, uh, disconnect this um, center link, the top link, push it off to the side, pull the pin out, Take this off. I won't need this for uh, installing the backhoe, so I'm just gonna leave this off to the side. I normally leave it with my iMatch quick hitch off to the side. So now we're ready to back up into the backhoe and get it all hooked up. All right, so right now I'm backing up. I am trying to center myself on the backhoe. I'm dropping that three-point linkage down, letting that channel guide us into location. We're going to go ahead and now pick it up. Perfect. Set my brake and turn off my tractor. Okay, so now we're back at the back of the tractor. Um, I've got to hook up the pin. So we've obviously raised the three-point hitch up. The three-point is what's holding the backhoe up uh, right now. Uh, what I want to do is put in the locking pins on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach back, grab these two pins. I'm gonna slip them right in and put in the securing pin on the other side. So there's one side done. We're gonna go over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So big, large pin pushed in and then lock in that securing pin. So now the frame is actually, when I take off the weight off of the three point, is going to hold this backhoe up into place and it's secure in place. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and head up, hook up the hydraulic connections. So I brought a towel with me. This is a nice thing to have when you're any, anytime you're working with hydraulics, because sometimes you get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of spray out. Um, so easy connection, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect the female side to the male side on the tank. So this is going to connect up on this side. And then I'm going to disconnect my Power Beyond kit that's created that loop because I am going to hook up the backhoe. So obviously a little bit of spray out there. And we're gonna hook up the backhoe into that same port and push on. All right, my hydraulics are connected. I'm gonna place the cap back over, power beyond, route that down so it's out of the way. And that is pretty much it. We are connected to our backhoe. We're ready for use. So let's go ahead and get up in the cab, fire the tractor up, and I'll show you some of the, the workings of this backhoe. So we've got the tractor fired up. Um, so I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder so you can hear me. But right now, I've got hydraulic fluid running through the system of the, the backhoe. So what I wanna take out is some of my safety retention pins. So I've got a pin back here that's gonna keep this um, machine, or keep the boom from going left or right. And so what I can do is take a little bit of pressure off of that, and then I'll just pull that pin out. All right, got the pin out. Now I can put it in its nice storage location. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is drop this seat down. So I can drop that seat so I can get clear access to my storage pin location. So I've taken the pressure off of this boom. I'll pull this storage pin out. 
This goes in a nice storage location and the pin goes right into a nice keeper on the frame. So those two will stay right there. I can move my boom all the way back now. So I've got my boom all the way back. And then with these controls, I can raise up my outriggers. So all I gotta do, raise up both my outriggers. That's it, now I'm ready to move to my job site and start to work. All right, so say we're out at our job site. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for operation. So what I wanna do is I wanna drop both of my outriggers. I'm gonna take off some of the weight of the, the tractor on its back tires so that it becomes more secure, more stable platform. Obviously the hydraulics on this are, have, are, are will easily lift up this tractor. I've got my park brake set. I'm gonna come over onto the other side where I have a step. I'm gonna step up in and now I'm ready for operation. So as you can see, I've got a not a, not a nice room to, to work here on this backhoe. And now I can start to get to work. Hi, my name is Jason Hughes. I'm a territory manager out of Eugene, Oregon. I'm also a large property owner and own a lot of the equipment that you see featured in these videos. I hope you find this content helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.